Welcome to the top 10 things to know about service learning at Stockton University. You will find out what's new this year, what you can't live without, and who can help you in your service adventures. Let's get started. Number 10, the Office of Service Learning and the Center for Community Engagement have merged. We are now the Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning. We are located in B106 and B108 in the main academic building in Galloway. There are over six professional staff to help you. Stop by to check in with us, find out more information about community partners, or just say hi. We can support individuals or teams of students who might want more information on how service learning works, how to find a community partner, or figure out the details of their project. Number 9. Service learning is focused on learning about yourself and your community outside of the classroom. Service learning has been happening around Stockton for over 20 years. Whether you are new to Stockton or just new to service learning, it is helpful to understand what service learning is and how it works. Service learning is a teaching methodology your faculty uses in your course, but it is so much more. It is a way of engaging with the community, learning about the environment we live in and move through, and about applying the theoretical knowledge of what you are learning from class in real life situations. It is also about leaving the community partners and organizations that you serve with better than when you found them, either through your commitment, your energy, or your knowledge. Here's a quick example. In Underwater Robotics, Stockton students coach local high school teams to compete in robotic competitions called Sea Perch. That's service learning. In some courses, students do less direct service and conduct research for a community partner or local nonprofit organization. That's also service learning. In some courses focused on public relations or marketing, students develop websites, promotional materials, or help the community partner get the word out about an event. Whatever service learning project you will work on, either solo or as a team, is dependent on what you are learning in class. Number eight, there are virtual opportunities to provide service to community partners as well. Times change and service learning changes with it. The Stockton Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning offers face-to-face -face service as well as virtual service opportunities. Interested in working with children? Why not consider serving as a tutor in the virtual homework completion program? Care about civic engagement and new citizens? Consider serving with the naturalization course. If you are learning on campus or remotely, there are service opportunities that will fit your requirements and style. Check out more at our Community Partner Finder app. There's another way to find organizations to complete your service with. Stop by the center in B106. We have community partners and projects both on campus and off campus, and will help to match you with an organization that works for your interests. Your faculty member may have specific organizations they want you to work with so that you maximize what you are learning in your course. We also help to find community partners and service opportunities for clubs and organizations on campus. Just stop by and the Bonner leaders will be happy to help. The Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning has a tool called the Community Partner Finder app that will help you find an organization where you can serve. You can find the link to this in both the Blackboard and on the Service Learning website. Interested in a service year? That's number seven. That's what we're here for. Really love being engaged with hands-on learning and want to do more? Every year, the Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning helps Stockton students explore service years. Like Mahatma Gandhi, we believe that we should be the change we want to see in the world. For some Stockton folks, that means things like City Year, AmeriCorps, or Peace Corps. We are invested in your success, and sometimes the most crucial learning happens outside of the four walls of the university. Be sure to drop by our office in B106, and we will be happy to talk more about it. Many Stockton graduates, and even some undergraduates, complete a year of service. 
Number six, we are also the people who bring you days of service, fall and spring. There are several days of service organized throughout the year, which are great opportunities for clubs, organizations, and Greek Life members to get involved with local nonprofits. In the fall, there is Fall Day of Service, Make a Difference Day, and Hunger and Homelessness Week. In the spring, we typically offer MLK Day of Service, Read Across America on Dr. Seuss's birthday, and Volunteer Recognition Week. Be sure to look on our website and social media for more information. Or, you guessed it, stop by B106 or B108. Number five, get friendly with Gen 3851. It is the Blackboard course that takes your service learning to a new level. At Stockton University, when you are enrolled in a service learning course, you are co-enrolled in an online course called Gen 3851, Service Learning Experience. This course will appear on your transcript at the end of the semester, alongside the course that had the service learning methodology. Because this doesn't become visible on your transcript until the end of the semester, all service learning students are enrolled first in the Blackboard course. This is the primary way that the center communicates with you and how you will turn in the work related to the service learning course. Gen 3851 is a supplemental, zero credit course. That means you don't have to pay anything additional for the course, but it does reflect the additional work that you will complete. It's a pass-fail course, so be sure to do all the required assignments. There are six assignments with this course, and even though we call them assignments, they are really easy. This is assignment number one, reviewing this orientation and completing the quiz that comes after it. These assignments should not take more than one hour to complete total over the course of the semester. In addition to this orientation and the competency quiz, there is a pre-test, a post-test, a pre-reflection and planning assignment, a reflection assignment for after you have completed your service experience, and one more. There's also an assignment called documentation of service, which helps to verify the work you did in your service project. While you are here in the Blackboard course, you can look around at these assignments and get more information. The number four reason for things to know about service learning is that Bonner leaders are available to help you. The Bonner leaders and the professional staff will be happy to get you jump started on your project or give you an alternative option. Having trouble getting in touch with your community partner? We can usually give you some additional contact information. Confused and not sure who to work with or how to get started? Stop by our office. We do walk-in consultations all the time. Bonner leaders are student leaders who receive a stipend to support the work of the center. They come from many different majors and communities across New Jersey. They are social justice advocates who facilitate direct service in the community at special projects and programs, as well as lead critical conversations on campus about issues such as environmental justice, health and wellness, political engagement, learning and literacy, and hunger and homelessness. The Bonner leaders are also part of a national network of students across almost 60 campuses that focus on social change in their communities. At some point during your work with the center, you may engage with a Bonner leader. Often experts in service learning, they can answer your questions, help your team to get organized, or talk to you about their issue area or community partners that they have worked closely with. Number three, microgrants are available to support your service project. Every semester, the center requests proposals for microgrants to help make your service learning project strong. These grants can be applied in the Blackboard or through our office. They are specifically to support your project when you are in a service learning class. For example, some classes have applied and received microgrants to bring speakers onto campus, to purchase supplies to implement their service learning project, or to purchase film rights to show a documentary. With even a small amount of funds, students have developed some innovative practices that further the mission of the university and its community connection. Also, writing a grant and receiving it is great to add to your resume. There is a deadline for this grant, and it is a competitive process, so don't wait to get started. Number
number two. Be sure not to miss celebration of service. After you have heard more about your service learning project from your faculty member, figured out who your community partner is going to be, and worked on a project all semester, why not consider presenting at Celebration of Service? This undergraduate service symposium, held in December for fall semester and April for spring semester, offers you the chance to present your signature service work as a group or individual. This is a great opportunity to build skills as an undergraduate by presenting in public the research and experiences that you had in the community. This is an optional event for most classes, but an opportunity not to be missed. Thinking of applying for a microgrant? Then mark your calendar. Recipients of the microgrants are required to present their work at Celebration of Service. We've made it all the way down to number one on the top 10 things to know about service learning at Stockton University. Number one, did you know service learning is a course that shows up on your transcript? Wear the SRLN attribute badge proud as you apply for internships, graduate schools, and employment. After you've completed the assignments in the Blackboard course connected to Gen 3851, you will have service learning credit on your transcript. It's a pass-fail course, remember, but you don't have to pay additionally for it. The assignments connected to Gen 3851 help to take your service experience to a different level and have planning and reflection built into them. Service learning is all about connecting hands-on learning in the community with theoretical learning in the classroom. This creates the most important recipe of all. We like to think of that recipe as E plus E equals E. Really, it stands for experience plus education, and that equals employment. The Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning at Stockton University will help you to find service with a purpose. Thanks for reviewing the top 10 things to know about service learning at Stockton University. While you're here, check out the Blackboard course in the assignments. If you have any questions, be sure to stop by B106 and the Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning will do our best to answer them for you. Please take the quick quiz. That is your first assignment. It's located below.